be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another little video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm be going over some beat arrangement tips in Logic Pro 11, all right? Beat arrangement tips in Logic Pro 11 for beginners. Let's check it out. So I got this beat right here that I'm making. I'm pretty much just gonna give you a preview of it and then I'm just gonna go over like what I would do to arrange this into song format. So let's check it out. So that's the vibe, right? First thing I would do is identify the parts that would be like for the hook and what would be for the verses. Like really what I played you right there is gonna be for the hook. So it's pretty much gonna be everything for the most part. Then I would just think, okay, let me mute out some stuff and see what I'll put for the verses. So probably maybe like, just to give it some room. So kind of playing around with that and maybe also still play around with some of these other st strings. So like, okay, cool. I figured out what I'm gonna play for the hook, which is gonna be everything. And what I'm gonna play for the verses is gonna be a combination of this electric piano by itself or like one of the other strings, the later strings. So like string three or string two. Okay, cool. Once I had that in my head, now I can begin, um, you know, arranging it. So in Logic Pro, what I do is just push Command A to highlight the loop. So I got an eight part loop. I'm gonna push Command R maybe like 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's basically gonna extend it out some, okay? And then what I do is I use a combination of muting it right here first to get the vibe and then finalizing it by like highlighting what I want to finalize and pushing control M. And obviously you can also delete it. But the reason why I do control M is because say if I change my mind, I, I don't have to go to another part of the song and move something over there, stuff like that. I can just unmute it by pushing control M. So I'm just gonna pretty much show you the process here. Basically what I'm gonna do start off doing is do an intro here. So I'm just gonna start off with these strings, um, maybe with the 8082. So that's what we'll do. We'll come in here like that. So what I'm going to do is just mute out everything except for the parts that I want to have going on. So it's going to be this 808 and the string is going to be the only thing that's going to be unmuted. And I can come over here and then finally like, unmute it right there. So that's our intro. Um, I'm going to mute out this uh, 808 for the hook. And we'll mute out this electric piano right here. So let's just see how that sounds. This is going to be the intro and then going into the hook. identify okay do I want it to be kind of like a short in and out in and out or do I want to kind of make it longer I think what I'm gonna do is make it short and we're gonna go straight into the verse right here okay obviously we're gonna do a 16 and so what I'll do maybe I might drop out the kick and um, we can play around with the different like 808s or whatever but I'm gonna drop out the 808 as well and then we'll probably have 
this lower string drop in first. So let's check out how that sounds. And you can just kind of see how that pretty much goes right into the hook. And then if we really wanted to, we can kind of keep it simple. Just delete this. And then now we got this verse right here. And then we got a hook. And I just push Command R. Got verse 2. And like songs nowadays are pretty short. So, yeah. I mean, I can just pretty much put an uh, outro out to, at that point. I usually just like to come over here and take the intro and do something similar on the outro. And then we is in and out, yeah. And that's what we most will do with what we'll do for the song. Like I said, nowadays songs are short, so we don't want to even overwhelm them with anything. Now, what I do want to do is make sure that we just kind of add, you know, a little bit of variation, all right, on like the verses. So maybe I might come in and instead of going with the high string, the low string first, we're gonna go with the high string, and then we'll go with the low string, and just do little stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much going to be the beat, man. Um, so let, let's just listen to it through a little bit. And some other things that we could do is just like maybe make some drops, like drop the beat out a little bit, like before the hook comes in. So I'll do that. Outside of that, y'all, this is going to be the video. Make sure you go to my website, beatmakingbasis.com. Check out what we got going on over there. We got courses and kits and templates you can buy. We also have um, a beat making master bundle, which comes with everything we offer, all the courses, all the kits, all the templates. And you can, you know, do a lot of things on the channel as well to give, give thanks or to, you know, just check out some more exclusive content. Like we got, you can join the channel for $3 a month. And basically what I would do is you get the videos earlier. You know, I drew drop some like, exclusive videos on here as well but if you really want the sauce you got to go to my site man but appreciate y'all i'm just gonna let the beat play and i'll see you in the next video you got it
Geil.